I think what people don't understand is that the successful category winner in each of these categories needed to invent something de novo that nobody else had. In the case of Facebook, we invented photo tagging when it didn't exist. And then we invented the newsfeed when it didn't exist. And then there was a bunch of people that copied it, but it didn't matter because we had refined and owned that use case already. The challenge is going to be, can you invent some de novo feature that makes people actually want to use this? Rage quitting Twitter because you're not a fan of the product right now, or Elon isn't a successful long-term use case because all of those people will eventually come back. I'm a little bit more skeptical of the whole thing. I think that right now what you see is not even a full copy of the system. It's a 50-60% copy with a lot less usage and so as a result a lot less traffic. TikTok, the reason why it became successful was it was a fundamentally new use case relative to the alternatives. And I think that that captures people's imagination and mindshare. This is not what Threads does. In as much as it's a copy of something that is already an established behavior, I don't think it has very high chances of success. But don't story and Reels undermine that argument? I mean, Reels was a copy of TikTok and Stories was a copy of Snapchat and they're both giant products today. I think that you can definitely copy features into an existing product with new distribution, but to invent a new product wholly from scratch, that's a carbon copy of something. But again, Reels attaches onto Instagram, right. which is a unique use case. And so I think that again, it goes back to these five or six established modes of social media that essentially are from large pieces of content to small small pieces. That's probably the best organizing principle that we have. In as much as you have established distribution, yes, you can copy a feature from somebody else and it will get used, but that's not what this is. So if this instead gets integrated into Instagram, I think it's much more dangerous to Twitter than as a standalone product. As a standalone product, I tend to think it's DOA. Unless again, it invents something totally new that we're missing.